a fantastic name. Don't be jealous, Professor. Hey guys, what's up? Elder Child Lady here and welcome back to One Life. The first thing we are going to do today is meet up with Joey and Stacy, and we are all going to go to the jungle together. So let's go! So of course Joey led the way as he's the one that first found the jungle and it turns out it was only about 3,000 blocks away. So I have no idea how I didn't find it earlier, but the three of us managed to find it with ease. Wow, that is a jungle indeed. Whoa! What? What oh, is I know. this? Aren't they so pretty? What? A Rathlesia? Stacy, did you see this? What are you talking about? Where'd you go? We're in the jungle where we're supposed to be. What is it? Is it an animal? No, it's a flower, look. I don't really care about that, though. Here it is. Yes, you do. What in the world? I told you you can. And what's this? An orange cosmos. Cute. I'm going to get all of them. So are we all going to split up and look for a cat then? Yes. That's what okay. I'm doing. And so we split up to search. And boy, did we search for a very long time. And then eventually... Stacy, you found an ocelot? Leave it alone, it's mine, oh. Lizzie! <laughs> you? She didn't even woman. tell us, it's I just mine. found her. Everyone, 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 I can't believe you found one and didn't share the news with us, Stacy. I know. She's I just went into crazy woman. silent ocelot mode. Yeah, it was kind of scary to see, honestly. I got a Siamese one. Aww. Just I like milk toast. <gasps> I found an ocelot. You did? Yeah. Everybody be Good. quiet. Come here. Come here, you. Oh my gosh, it's running away. Oh, maybe it, it needs a male touch. <laughs> It Don't hates steal me. her ocelot, Joey. Come here, baby. Yes, come to me. Oh. Yes! Oh. I got a ginger cat! Oh, that was close. You guys, I have a wild ocelot in a boat. Right, let's get going. So now that we all had our cats, we just had to get them in our boats to take them back home. How do I get my cat in my boat? Come on, my son. Don't drown. Don't drown, kitty. Don't drown. Ah! Oh, I put it in go. the water! Okay, got... Can they drown? Can cats swim? No, they can't. They, they'll drown. They'll drown. Stacy, what do I do? Get away so he teleports. Oh, good idea, good idea. Oh, it may be too late. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you're alive. Whew, that was oh. close. That was really close. I'm scared now. Just... Here, here we go. Get in. Yes! You did it! It's his oh, boat okay. now. Here, show Lizzie the ocelot. Whoa! He's a big one. Huh? And so that was the end to our jungle adventure. We all sailed home and went our separate ways. And so that is how we ended up here with a cat. Look at his little cute monobrow face. He's so adorable, but he doesn't have a name tag yet. So let's see if we have any spare name tags. Oh, we do. We've got loads. Perfect. Let's go and name this. Right. I am, of course, going to name him Professor Sparklebutt. There we go. What else would you name a cat? Boop. Oh, look how cute he is. So adorable. But now I want more cats. So I'm going to take him with me to a very special place and see if we can make some kittens. So we are going to need some more fish. Fishy fishy. There we go. Now come with me professor. It's urgent. This way. Right we have to be kind of careful because there has just been a blood moon. So be prepared for anything professor. We don't know what's out here. Luckily I think cats scare away creepers so we shouldn't have any trouble with those. But it looks like there's nothing out here anyway. Okay, we're almost there. The special... Whose horse is this? Hermione. Oh my gosh, I love it. What a fantastic name. Don't be jealous, Professor. I promise I'll get you Diamond Armor one day too. Come on, let's go. Okay, now the very special place is just around the corner. Up here on the hill. Ta-da! Welcome to Joey, Lizzie, and Stacy's Cat Cafe. Whoa, why is there a dog here? Stacy, control your hounds. They should not be anywhere near the cat cafe. They might scare the cats. Okay, I know the entry is one diamond, but since I am an owner of the cafe, I can go in for free. So come on, Professor. Where's the Professor? There we go. All right, what do you think? These are your friends. They came from the same jungle as you. Here's one little Siamese cat. That could be Stacy's. And are there others? There must be. Oh, there's one hiding back here. Also doesn't have a name tag. Not sure whose cat it is. <gasps> and there's one being the sneakiest ninja cat of all. 
Wow. So now all we need to do is pick a suitable breeding partner for Professor Sparklebutt. Which of these felines takes your fancy, huh? You like this one, do you? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, you like the plant pot. Well, unfortunately, you can't make babies with a plant pot. So why don't we wait until you decide on a cat to breed with? Now, obviously, there's a sign here that says no breeding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's meant to say breeding. No breeding the cats or else. But since it's our cat cafe, Joey, Stacy, and I are the only certified cat breeders in this here shop. So I think Professor Sparklebutt has chosen his lady friend. Here we go. Let's give them both some fish. And a baby should come out. <gasps> it's a baby Professor Sparklebutt. Look how cute it is. It looked like it had a unicorn horn for a second there. So magical. Now, as much as I really love how cute you guys are, matching and all, I kind of wanted something a little bit different. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is leave the kitten here at the cat cafe with its mother so that it can learn how to be a cat and stuff. So I think it'd be really cute to actually manage to get it up there, but I'm not sure how, but I shall try. Ta-da! There you go, proudly positioned on a little cat shelf. Now all we have to do is get you a little name tag and name you. So let's head back home to grab one of my other name tags. And this one I'm gonna call Oh my gosh. Professor Sparklebutt drowned. I guess he was in the water while I was using the anvil. And he drowned. Well, that's a good job we just cloned him then, isn't it? Guess what we're naming that little kitten? Professor Sparklebutt 2. And you know what this means as well? We have to make another addition to my graveyard. <sighs> Better clear some space. Ay ay ay. Professor Sparklebutt, first of his name, King of Da Jungle. Rest in peace. And we should probably give him a nice little flower too. I'll pick one from the jungle from which he came. Let's give him an orange cosmos because that's where he is now. Off in the cosmos. Just a star in the sky because he is now dead. There you go, Professor Sparklebutt. Your legacy will live on though with Professor Sparklebutt too. Now I'm also gonna name a couple more name tags with some names that I want. So I think Moonlight is a really cute name from the comments. Hopefully we can get a black cat to call Moonlight. And I really like the name Blossom too. So those are our reserve names for later on. But first of all, let's get back to the cat cafe and make sure Professor Sparklebutt 2 is still alive. Oh, uh, Professor, are you in? There you are. Oh, you're so small. I'm sorry you had to take on this legacy so young. All the responsibilities, but they're yours now. Ta-da! Okay, now since you're still a kitten, I think I'm gonna head off back to the jungle and try and get me a black cat. Just make sure to take all of my fish with me and I won't be coming back until I have myself a cat. So let's make a couple of boats and head out to sea. Oh, a pirate ship. Think I'll just sail right past that. Thank you very much. Don't need any of that today. I just want a jungle. Okay, let's leave the boat here. Now we just need to track down one of the little critters. <gasps> Is that an ocelot? Yes! Be very calm. No! Where did it go? <gasps> it fell down a hole. We just have to wait for it to come to us. Hang on a second, where did it go? Oh my gosh, it escaped out the bottom! Why does this keep happening to me? Come to mama. Okay, please be a black cat. Oh no! Professor Sparklebutt the third strikes again! Well, I'm gonna take you with me anyway, because you do need more cats for the cat cafe, but I am disappointed in you. Let's find another cat. <gasps> Two ocelots! Are you serious? They both ran away. <laughs> One of them has to be a black cat. Yes, come here. Let me tame you. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna get the other one as well, just in case. Maybe we can get a Siamese cat as well to add to the collection. Come back here, you sassy queen. I can give you a good life in a cat cafe with unlimited snacks. Oh, the snacks changed their mind. Here we go. Another ginger. Great! I love ginger cats. That's fine. Let's go. Where is my black cat? Oh wait, I just realized I can only take one cat in the boat. Whoops. Well, guess which one that's gonna be. <laughs> Not one of you guys. Sorry. From now on, you shall be known as Moonlight. Come with me. You have to get in the boat first. 
Here they come, over the horizon. Get in there. Okay, perfect. And now I am going to leave, but I really do hope that you will manage to find your way back to me somehow. Good luck. Goodbye. Okay, so we are coming back in towards spawn. Those are the shops right there. I can get really close on the boat. So let's disembark here and break the boat very carefully. Woo. And now to the cat cafe. Now I'm going to breed her with this little cat here. Go on, make a baby. Yeah, we got a little baby black cat. And now I'm also gonna hope that Professor has grown up. He has. So let's breed him with this little cat down here. Come on. Oh, we got another ginger. Okay, I was kind of hoping for a Siamese so that I would have one of every color, but here we are. Disappointment central. So let's use the last name tag we have, Blossom. You look like a blossom to me, so come on. Right then, Blossom, let's get you up on the shelf now. There you go. Nice and safe. And let's put this little black kitten up there too. So you guys stay up there and I will be back next time. So we got Professor Sparklebutt and Moonlight. And I think it would actually be safer for them if I left them here. So I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Now I would love to breed a load more cats and give them names and leave them in the cat cafe so everyone can visit them. But I've kind of run out of name tags. So I'm gonna have to do that next episode, which means that if you have any ideas for names, then you can suggest them in the comments below for the next episode. But that's all the cat related stuff I can do for today. So I'm heading back home. Oh great, it's a blood moon. Well, I guess it's time to hide in here. It's a good job that the cats are safe in the cat cafe. Now, like I said earlier, I do want to get a bunch more name tags so I can name all of my animals and I have currently run out. So I thought it would be a good idea to craft a look of the sea upgrade so we can get our look of the sea higher than three and all the way up to six. But we need emeralds and unfortunately rabbit's feet, which is kind of sad and brutal. So I'm just gonna take my carrots and venture outside. I know it's a blood moon and it's dark outside, but my enclosure is very, very safe, I assure you. So all we have to do is breed these guys. Wait, hang on a second. What? Where'd the other bunny go? Uh, what? <gasps> Wait, how did I get in there? Why are there bunnies everywhere? How does this keep happening? Wait, why did I just hear a cat? What? What the heck are you guys doing here? It's a blood moon, you should be more careful. They just randomly teleported from the cat cafe. Hey, what the heck? That bunny just jumped super high. What the heck is going on? Okay, we might need a new place to keep these bunnies because they keep freaking escaping. I'm never gonna get all my rabbit feet if I can't even keep hold of my rabbits. We are gonna need another bunny enclosure. Let's build it back here in this corner. We don't need a lot of room. Bunnies are pretty small after all. So I'm gonna build this out of clay shingles just like my house, but we're gonna go for some different colors. So, so let's choose pink this time. We're gonna need a lot of pink clay. Luckily I have quite a bit of clay left over. We just need to dye it pink. And now we can start making this into shingles and we have a whole stack now. Okay, we are definitely not gonna have enough shingles to finish this entire thing. So I guess we have to go all the way to the freaking mesa to get some hardened clay. Here we are, the number one place to get hardened clay. So let's just go to town. Okay, we need loads. So when I say go to town, I really mean go to town. Okay, we now have seven stacks of clay, which hopefully is enough to last me for the rest of my life, but we shall see. Okay, so we're gonna need some more pink clay to finish this off. Let's see if one stack is enough. There. Oh, and now I'm gonna give it kind of a white trim to fancy it up a little bit. So I want to make some of these white clay shingles, which means we need bone meal. Hopefully I have some left. Oh no. Yeah, I might have run out of bones. I'm gonna have to go and steal from my own shop. Or just take these flowers. These will do just nicely. I guess I don't have to steal from myself after all. So now we just need to make some white clay instead and turn this into shingles. And now I will use it to decorate. And I'm kind of making it like a castle because this is the bunny castle where the bunny kings and queens shall live. Oh my gosh, they look like crazy. I can't wait to get them in the castle. So this is looking pretty cute already. But to finish it off, I'm gonna make a little statue of a bunny to go on the top. So let's put a glass roof up here to keep it nice and light. So while that is smelting in there, I'm gonna start gathering the materials for the bunny statue. 
So we shall need light gray clay. So let's make a stack of that and start constructing the statue. So, so the front of the bunny is right here. So there is his body. We just need to do his face now. So let's get up here. Oh no, I ran out of clay. And the bunny doesn't even have any ears yet. Right, let's give this bunny the ears that he deserves. I'm not really sure how long his ears should be. There! The almighty bunny, which has no eyes. We should probably give him some eyes. Oh, and I think it would be really cool to use quilted wool. So let's craft some black quilted wool. Let's see how these look. Oh, that's so adorable. How cute! But it's missing something. Oh, that's right. Kawaii cheeks! Let's take a look at the finished masterpiece. Very cute. We should make a huge window here too so we can see out. Well, the view's not that great, but let's still put a window there anyway. There we go. And then all we have to do is get the bunnies over here. Wait, we need a door. I almost forgot. Let's try this one. Pretty cute. I like it. Now we can transfer the bunnies across. I wonder if we can entice them with a dandelion. Hello, my bunny minions. Follow me. Oh my gosh, I feel so powerful. Come on, hurry up. It's getting dark. Everybody in. Perfect. Okay, there you go. Fight over it. Now, unfortunately, one of the bunnies escaped and that can only mean one thing. He's gotten to the carrots and he must be punished. Come here, you. I'm gonna kill you. Come back. No, you're making me ruin my garden. Ugh. Oh, now he's in a wheat field. You've had it now. No. All this destruction is your fault. Oh, I killed him. I got him. Now I just have to fix all the damage. Oh, I was so carried away with killing that rabbit that I didn't even realize how dark it got. Well, now that Bunny Castle is complete and all the bunnies are safely trapped inside, I have been farming them for a couple of days now and we've got this many. And I command them all. Watch this. Whoa, isn't that weird? So I'm just gonna keep breeding them and then eventually I'm gonna have to start slaughtering them and attempt to collect some rare rabbit's feet. So I guess we'll see just how lucky I am next episode. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, leave some name suggestions for cats, and I will see you next time.